cheese pull. Today we are headed to the pretty town of Perry Sound, Ontario, home of the Island Queen Cruise and the Bobby Orr Museum, all on the beautiful shores of Georgian Bay. I have a few fun things planned for the stealth camping adventure, including a town tour, lunch at Mariso's Pizzeria, a mountain bike ride, jumping off the salt docks, and having an awesome pan-fried pickerel with bacon and cheese bread dinner, plus a few surprises along the way. If this van life adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. We have made it to the beautiful town of Perry Sound, but my car, as you may see, is really dirty. I was at my mom's cottage, and uh, the, the windshield's all dirty, lots of debris from the trees, but there's a coin car wash here. Let's uh, get uh, Rusty all washed up before we start cruising around the town. a whole lot of time three minutes Does it not accept money and the machine's broken oh well I guess we'll uh, show you around town in a dirty car I apologize for that but uh, last time I was here was 2017 four years ago with my wife and uh, my mother and father-in-law and uh, we went on the cruise the Queen cruise and I uh, did the 30,000 Island cruise and uh, had a lot of fun and uh, if you ever get the chance to come to Perry Sound definitely you got to do the cruise probably that's the number one thing and then the Bobby Orr if you're a hockey fan then go to the Bobby Orr Museum I'm not sure if it's open we'll go check maybe and see what's going on but first let's uh, take you around town, show you uh, what's going on, then we'll get some lunch. planes, you take you on cruises, flights. The Queen is not there today. The Island Queen cruise. And there is the Bobby Orr Hall of Fame. Well, that's just like a little taste of what we're going to be seeing. Uh, but right now we are headed over to a very popular pizzeria place that uh, my friends, another YouTube channel, <laughs> Uh, Kelly, Steve, and Eric, they have a channel called The Trips, and uh, they have a cottage near here, so they're the ones who told me about this pizzeria place. So uh, we're gonna go over there and order the carnivore. Are you guys hungry? Let's go. And there it is, it is called Mauricio's Pizzeria. And I have been trying to get my butt out here just to try this place, and it's not open. It's Saturday. Why isn't open? That scared me for a second. I thought they weren't open till four, but uh, on the today is Saturday, so they open at twelve. So we got a half an hour to wait. Um, I guess we'll just hang out and just wait until they're ready to be open, and we'll grab that carnivore pizza and then we'll eat it with you guys. 
chances are it's going to be fantabulous. Every time I come into one of these small towns, I'm always on the lookout uh, for those really good stealth camping spots. Again, I don't want to be trespassing or anything, I'm trying to be as respectful as possible to people's property. If there's a sign that says uh, no overnight parking, I don't park there. Uh, this actually looks like a great spot that I could uh, stealth camp on. Uh, there's a gas station right across the street. If they're open really late, that's great for washrooms. Uh, I'm not sure how late uh, Mariso is this open, um, but it is possible. I might be able to stay here tonight. I think I'd like to be parked right down by the water. We'll keep our eye open. Once again, when I go on these stealth camping adventures, make sure I have my Jackery all charged up. It's at 99%. Uh, this is the Jackery Explorer 500. It suits my needs at the moment perfectly fine. Uh, you can plug in your USB. Uh, again, my uh, GoPro batteries, always want to make sure that they are topped up. This is a cool little container, making sure that I'm good to go. Pull up my batteries, put the, I, I label them so I remember which one I've used. And I plug that into the back. And away we go, and I just hit USB, and it's starting to charge just like that. Middle one's charged, this one's gonna charge, this one's brand new, fresh. But uh, again, my Jackery is a must for this stealth camper. I just walked across the street just to find out what time this Pioneer is open, Pioneer Bradshaws, and I uh, used their facilities while I was here. Bought a water, just to be respectful, not just gonna use their washroom and, and leave without buying something. So again, it's just right across the street from Mauricio's. Uh, they're open till 11 tonight, so at least I have that 11 o'clock uh, rest stop option open. Again, when you go into stealth camp mode, you gotta, if you don't have a toilet in your vehicle or a bucket or whatever, uh, you need to have your backup plans, and that's at the moment my backup plan. In the washroom, there was a mirror, and they used like a lifesaver as the border of the, of the mirror, which is kind of cool. I like that. Very creative. Just saw the sign flash on. Let's go eat. Hello, how are you? How are you? Should I order at the window or here? Here. Okay. I always told you guys have amazing pizza. Yeah, that so, would be correct. First time here. Oh, but, well, welcome. Thank you. And I definitely have to try your carnivore. Oh, great choice. And they're all the same size or? So we have size in 12 inch medium thin crust wood fire pizza. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. How long have you guys been in the business? So we've been open in business since about 2013. We used to be down by uh, the LCBO, like, uh, but we moved here about two years ago okay. because we wanted a giant oven. Oh, okay. So. He's got the giant oven. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, got the giant oven. Stone yeah. fired. Nice. All right. So 27.69 is your total. Thank you very much, sir. Holy schmoly. That was beautiful. Would you Fantastic. Like any no thanks, I got some. Right. Have a great day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the stealth camper van life. All right, let's get out the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating. Gotta clean the hands first before we indulge. Holy schmoly people. All right, guys, here we go. We've got that tall bottle of Pepsi to wash this beautiful pizza down. But let's just move over to that wood fired crust. Oh my goodness. And we've got a bunch of different meats on there. I will list them in the video, but I can tell we definitely have some pepperoni. We got some ham. We got some bacon, and uh, they have a special sauce, a signature sauce. And again, I'll put that in the video so you guys can see what kind of sauce, homemade sauce, this pizza is made out of. 
All right, I can't wait any longer. Let's eat. Let's crack open our Pepsi first. Have a little sip. Ah, show the logo. Let's get right into this. I got my napkins. Cheese pull, my favorite. Oh, this smells amazing. Look at the bottom. Perfectly cooked pizza. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. This part. Mm hmm. That is awesome. Mmm. Steve, Kelly, Eric, thanks for asking me to come here, man. Because that pizza is phenomenal. Wow. Thin crust. This is my dessert pizza right here. Mm hmm. Cheese pull. Mm. Two cheese pulls. That is good pizza, man. There we go. A little more light on the situation. It looks like they use uh, that cornmeal. Let's put that down so it doesn't stick to anything. Ooh la la. Here we go for the dessert part. Crunchy. Chewy inside. Very nice dough. I love when it gets super thin crust like that in the middle. And it gets like um, almost like a cracker. Flatbread kind of thing. Mmm. That is a good slice. Sorry. That is an amazing slice right there. Another cheese pull. Little cheese pull maybe. Here's some of the meat. Mm-hmm. Nice crispy bacon. The uh, pepperoni has a nice little spice to it. Lots of flavor. Loving this van life stealth camping stuff, man. I will eventually do some uh, of my own cooking at campgrounds and things. I'll bring my wife along on those, some of those. Every once in a while, I might bring Paul. He's very interested. We'll have to bring a tent. <laughs> There's no way both of us are sleeping on that cot. I have to eat more. I can't. I'm definitely going to be eating half this pizza right now. And then somehow saving the rest for later. Did that fall? I think it did. As you can tell how much I'm enjoying this pizza, I'm going to have to give you guys a 1 o'clock in the morning shout out bite to all those amazing men and women out there who love to watch my videos at 1 o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do, but you do. This next bite is just for you. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Greasy on the top. Unbelievable. I'm glad they're not anywhere near my house. I'd be in trouble. Let's do a fold. Look how thick that meat is. Ooh la la. Oh, this is wonderful. Mm hmm. The biggest flavor I'm getting out of this thing is the pepperoni and the sauce. And every once in a while, I get the little hints of bacon and stuff. But that pepperoni is phenomenal. I'm not sure where they get that from. But I know why they chose that style of pepperoni for their pizza, because it's great. Last bite of this phenomenal pizza. Next time you're driving past or you're visiting Perry Sound, drop by Mariso's Pizzeria and get yourself an amazing wood fire pizza, because it is great. Now it's time to go for a bike ride. I had to go back in there and tell him how good his pizza was and he was very appreciative of that feedback and apparently uh, he gets all of his uh, tomatoes from a special place in Italy I'll try and uh, put that information or you can go check out their website all their information is on the website uh, and apparently this the recipe that he's been using is generations old I'm not sure exactly how many years old it is I heard 300 but they can correct me on that. 300 years old? 
it's like generation after generation special recipe for their sauce phenomenal if you're super hungry and you're in perry sound check out mariso's bike ride time possibly bought this a bit too early it's still really nice and cold but i want that for after my bike ride so i'm going to put it in my cooler uh, not that my cooler is in full functioning mode right now and we'll put that in there hopefully the coldness of these will keep them continually being cold going there i guess I, I could put some maybe a bit of ice in there maybe i'll buy a bag of ice and again that will just keep us from having to wreck our refrigeration situation all right let's go with the bike go for a ride put my bike together and my front tires flat once again so um this is the third tube i put in it i have no idea why it's uh leaking this sp uh, specific tube uh when you take the the valve off or the valve cover off you can just hear the air uh, uh, hissing out of it and so uh, i did notice that there was a bike shop in town so i'm gonna go over there maybe maybe this there's something up with that tire uh, i did feel very gently all the way around the inside of that tire to see if there was any uh, tack or staple or something i've had a staple in my in my tube before and uh not on this bike my road bike and so that's what i'm feeling for and i felt every little square inch of the inside of that um tire nothing felt all the inside of my rim nothing i have no idea why but let's just go over finally get this resolved let's get this uh wheel problem solved finally Hello, how are you, sir? I'm good, how are you? Alright guys, this is Brandon, he's helping me out. Uh, he's found that the valve uh, was loose, so he has a little tool that I'm definitely going to buy off him. That uh, in the future you can actually put a little tool down inside the valve and tighten it or loosen it. So, thanks Brandon. Yeah, no Appreciate worries. it, man. And if you have biking problems, come here. Perry Sound Bikes, it's the place to go. Got some nice bikes. Clothing. Accessories. Helmets. Of course, repair shop. That's the tool I need. All right. So, uh, it's going into my kit. I'm not going to have to worry about that again. to get this stuff to lube up the chain i'll go faster maybe <laughs> less effort a couple watts there yeah a couple watts well, thanks brandon for all your help yeah have a good ride when you come here guys check out get brandon to fix your bike anybody here i'm sure is awesome but brandon's the guy <laughs> have a great day you too see ya. see ya back at the docks let's get the bike out and finally go for a ride Still good. Just wanted to give it another quick check before we leave. Good. Uh, I cleaned my chain uh, and then I applied uh, this lubricant to it. And uh, can't wait. Got my water. While we're doing a little tour of uh, Perry Sound, uh, I'm also going to look for a place to swim. See if there's any public beaches or public docks that people can jump off. Because I will definitely need a swim after this ride. Let's get going, it is hot. And once again, for those of you guys who don't know how I get those cool bike shots, this is called a 360, Insta360. So let's pull this neoprene off. I put that in my pocket. It has two cameras, one on each side. There's one camera, there's two cameras. It collects 360 degree footage and then I can pick any angle I want when I'm on my bike ride. Let's go.
going for dinner tonight, guys. That's Tailwinds Bar and Grill, and they have pickerel, and I can't wait. Oh, they have an ice cream shop, too. Nice. Can't wait for dinner now. Let's go work up an appetite. out next time in town. Lots of outdoor seating. spots like this check that out it's like the bow of a ship you can do that titanic move back at the still camper again this time I used my uh, clipless shoes and these pedals are awesome because they are regular pedals if you just have your regular uh, cycling or regular I say sneakers on and then you can just rotate it over and they're clipless good bike ride. We're going to now get that bathing suit on and go back to those docks or wherever those kids are swimming man because that is awesome. Like I said I love to just to jump in off something into the water that way you, you can't chicken out as you're stepping in on a cold beach kind of thing. It's in. There's a ladder to get out. Very important. Let's go cool off. I see how cold that is still. Yep, it's definitely cool still. It's definitely not hot. If I left in the car, you could see it's still condensating. <sighs> now I'm hydrated. changed into my swimming gear with my UV shirt on. Uh, this is looks like a loading dock of some type, all concrete. I saw some kids swimming here earlier and, and they were jumping in and so zero problems for jumping in uh, and there are ladders to get out and there's this huge mountain of sand I'm guessing for uh, winter time when they put sand down on the roads 
So I guess big ships can come in here and then they can unload it and just dump it here on these docks. I bet they use these docks for other things too, but this seems to be the thing. And there's a scale over there. It says Canadian scale on it. Time to go for a swim. Perfect temperature. It is awesome. I just put the one blanket up because there's people over that way and uh, putting that up gave me all the privacy I needed there's a car there but nobody's in it what I'm gonna do it's only like four o'clock in the afternoon I don't want to eat until about 6 30. I think we'll, we'll go back over to uh, Tailwinds a parking lot and then we'll just kind of sit there put all the windows down and then I'll do uh, some of my laptop stuff there and just kick back with that this is a great spot but it's just as good over there Looking forward to that dinner too. Pickerel! Yummy. Look at that view, people. Tailwind's right there, bar and grill. We got a moose on the corner. And I'm just gonna sit here and relax, do some work. And then we'll wait for dinner. In the next video, guys, I am going to climb that tower. I think I'm pointing to the right spot. There's a very large tower up there. And uh, that would be a lot of fun. Look forward to that in the next video. see drying out my bathing suit my shirt got my towel hanging up the other side now it's time to start doing a little work so I've got my laptop all ready to go just about to hook up my hard drive and that's where I put all my data onto got my 360 camera I got my GoPro and I'm gonna be using my Jackery to plug in get some power I'll be plugging into the AC. I'll have to turn the AC on uh, until I plug it in. I'm just not going to turn that on. But right now, I was, I was charging my phone until that train came through. And I have to show you guys that is so cool to have a train, elevated train, go through a whole town like that. It's amazing. So I'm glad I got that shot for you. So now I've moved all the footage from my Insta 360, my iPhone and my GoPro onto the computer. The computer is now uh, compressing some of these files for me so I can start editing later on. Uh, but the Jackery is doing its job. I have my phone, my Insta360, and my last GoPro battery right there, it's still red. That's charging all. All three of them are plugged in. I have the USB turned on. I don't have my AC turned on to uh, start charging the laptop because the laptop still has some good power still left in it right there so it's still got lots of power on the battery so I'm not going to worry about that and uh, we are only drawing I think 11 watts yeah there you are 11 watts 
We are down to 97%. As soon as I turn on the inverter, uh, it's going to start making that go a little bit quicker. But uh, at the moment, we're good to go. We'll be all charged up and ready to go for the next shoot. Definitely sitting here, super comfortable, perfect temperature. I have all my windows open. My towel is probably dry by now, bathing suit, shirt. The lineup is getting longer and longer. The, the whole patio is packed. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go over there and get some food. I still got some power left right there. A little bit of power left, so I am actually gonna turn this on now. It's gonna start eating up a bit of my juice for sure. It's up to 15 watts, 51 watts, sorry. Oh, 95 watts. Wow, that's a lot of watts. Just went into the Island Queen headquarters here just to ask them because I heard a sh what it sounded like a ship, but she said it was probably one of the barges that came in here. Uh, but uh, the Island Queen's actually gone down to Michigan for a few days. Uh, I'm not sure for repairs or whatever, but uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to see it. But I did get a good shot of it uh, a f five, four years ago with my drone. So I hope you guys get to see that. All right, let's go get some food. I like to order takeout. Uh, I already know what I want, I think. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, okay. your pick roll. Pick roll? Yes. Yeah. Is there something you'd recommend as an appetizer? I mean, I definitely like our bacon cheese bread. It's like a garlic bread. But done. Like, done? Yeah. All right, perfect. So that and the pick roll? Yeah, please. All right, guys, we got our food. Let's eat. I asked the waitress what her favorite appetizer was, and she said the bacon cheese bread. And I probably will agree. Well, there you go. Over here, we got that bacon and cheese bread. Looks like I got some spices on there too. Hopefully garlic, butter. Looks like it's gonna be crunchy, gooey, yummy. And then over here, we've got some taters. We've got some greens, some looks like carrots, zucchini, and of course the piece de resistance, pickerel. She said they're gonna give me lemon. Let me just do a quick check before I, yeah, she didn't give me lemon. Oh well, we're gonna have to eat it straight up. I bet it's still gonna be good. Once again, I asked them not to give me a knife and fork because I already have my cold forged knife and fork set. Pop that up the top. We're gonna be using the knife and the fork because we need it. I guess we don't need it for the cheesy bacon bread, but we're definitely gonna need it for my fish. Mmm, crunchy, soft in the middle, garlicky, salty, <laughs> cheesy. Mmm, no wonder she likes these. When I got to this little area and saw Tailwinds, I'm like, I don't recognize that building at all. So when I was in there, I asked them, she says they've only been there for four years, which makes total sense because we were here four years ago and uh, the planes and stuff were in this area. And same with the scenic tours, the Georgian Bay Airways, uh, they were there. And I guess uh, they decided to build a restaurant and it's like a perfect location for a restaurant. Again, all the people in Georgian Bay in this area probably can zip over there. They have parking spots for boats. Of course, they have the parking spots for the cars and you can fly in. How's that for service? Location, location, location. They've got the location and they got the food to back it up. Yep, I'm coming back. All right, guys, let's see how flaky this pickerel is. Well, just oh perfect oh my goodness look at that look at that nice oh it smells so good holy schmoly if you've never had pickerel before get yourself if you live in another part of the world if they can somehow go to a fish market get some pickerel because it is a definitely has a unique flavor to it and it is so yummy and as soon as i opened it up because i haven't had pickerel in a while but today is the day let's start eating 
Oh my goodness. It's been so long, ladies and gentlemen. Check that out. Lightly breaded, cooked in butter. That is amazing. My dad and I used to do a lot of fishing. If he caught a pickerel, it was dinner time. And we're the only two. My mom and my sister didn't like fish, so it was all for my dad and me. That is a beautiful tasting fish. We'll get some zucchini, some carrot, and a green bean. Look at that, it's like a sword. Nice. So far, nothing wrong at all with anything I'm eating. It definitely tastes amazing. Once again, I'm getting a little bit of a nostalgia happening here, eating pickerel. Mm. You can go check out their menu online and see which one of the appetizers on their menu you would have chosen over this or would you have chosen this. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Go to their website, but look at all the appetizers, pick the number one appetizer that you would love. This is uh, probably right up there. I love this kind of an appetizer before I eat dinner, but I wish I had a beer too. Can't do that in the front seat of your car. Look, mom, I'm eating my vegetables. Carrot top. That is a beautiful tasting fish. Please give it a shot one day. Let me also know if you've had pickerel before. I bet a lot of you guys have had pickerel. You'd be interested to know if you agree or disagree with me that it's an amazing fish to try. Last bite of the pickerel. I'm dedicating this to all the van lifers out there who enjoy living in their vans year round. I only do it once or twice a, a week. I'm loving what I'm doing and uh, I get to enjoy foods like this all over Ontario. Eventually I'm gonna go across Canada into the States. You guys can keep recommending places to visit, recommending places to eat, and hopefully they're as good as Tailwinds. Mm. All done dinner, it was fantastic. Hopefully uh, one of these ice cream shops is still open. Can't remember what she said, but there's another ice cream shop here, but there's nobody in front of it anymore, so I'm getting worried. Let's go. That one's closed, although the sign still says open on it. But I'm hoping, it doesn't look like these guys are open either. I think we're out of luck. Yep, everybody's closed. This place was booming just a little while ago. And uh, unfortunately, they are gone. They're like, quit, look at the ice cream. It's right there. I could almost reach out and lick it. And they got some uh, some good souvenirs in there. Guess we'll have to wait for the next episode, eh? Hmm. Oh well. Good view though. So no such luck with the ice cream places here. But let's just do a quick run around. And if there is a place, then we'll get some ice cream. Computer's still working away like crazy. Jackery's still charging it. <laughs> All right. Now I'm like just. I have. A, I'm on a mission, people. A mission for ice cream. Just past a place. And a couple of people hanging out in front. That's all I was looking for. A couple of people standing outside a building that you knew exactly that there was an ice cream shop there. Because everybody wants ice cream right now. Hello. How are you doing? All right. Thanks for being open. Let's go a chocolate sundae, please. Ah, soft serve. Whipped cream? Oh, yes, please. Oh, it looks like the good stuff. Oh yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Looks awesome. I'll take that. Perfect. Have a great night. You also. We finally get our ice cream, people. Let's go eat. Head back down to the dock before this thing melts and enjoy it on the dock and watch the sunset. Don't melt. Don't melt. Just hit a red light. Gotta eat. Mmm. The whipped cream is kind of like the, the kind of whipped cream that Tim Hortons uses. It's in a bag and then you gotta squeeze it out. Green light, made it. That boat's been here for a really long time. It's always parked here. I'm not sure if it goes anywhere because it's always in the same spot. 
but it's a beautiful boat. This looks like a great spot to watch the sun go down and enjoy this ice cream sundae. Pretty plain looking Sunday, I know. It's just a ice cream and chocolate sauce, no no sprinkles, no cherry. <laughs> Still tastes great. That sauce, that chocolate sauce is nice and thick. What a beautiful day. I'm so glad I came here this weekend. It's awesome. Thanks for coming along with me too. Keeping me company. I'm gonna finish this and then we'll go for a walk. Well, this might be the spot that I'm gonna be parking tonight. Oh, that means uh, one of the files just finished compressing. So I'm gonna go check on that. Obviously it's still compressing files. Hopefully that was the last one. Um, but let's go back and check. Clean up my mess. The Jackery is down to 65% and my computer is almost all the way full so we're still good for power and looks like we've got a few more files to go right here and then we're done uh, compressing those files then I got to move them all into Final Cut Pro 10 then I can start editing I'll eat that ice cream way too fast man brain freeze right there as soon as that's done we're gonna go for a walk guys we come to that part of the day where we're blessed by the beautiful world around us got the seagulls flying the sun setting the waves crashing I can't get any better than this time to go back to Rusty set him up as a stealth camper Maybe watch a movie then hit the hay. Let's get back there, get that all set up, and then we'll say goodnight. back in the van let me get out my special light my wife bought me so if I put my finger on there it should start it up looks like it's almost done and uh, Jackery's down to 37% but again this computer is crushing it it is going crazy look at that <laughs> the phone can't handle this uh, hertz of light but uh, yeah so we're going to uh, put up our stealth stuff and then we're going to hit the hay all right guys I hope you had an awesome time hanging out with me today eating amazing food and ending our day off with that awesome beautiful sunset it's always nice to get that to finish off a video 
Glad you hung out with me. Thanks for all your support through subscribing and thumbsing up and commenting and Patreon and, and channel members. Every single one of you guys rock. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, check the link. I think it'll be down over there and it will take you to another awesome video that you might enjoy. Don't forget, bring your hunger. <laughs>